war as Amutekun collaborates with hunters against tomorrow in Oyo. Facts have emerged that the success of the Western State Security Network, codenamed Amutekun to read forest in Oyo State of Kidnappers, could be attributed to the support given by the Hunters Association of Nigeria during the operation. Togun hinted that the collaboration helped operatives of the outfit to easily disarm the foreign bandits in the forest, who, he said, were usually found with guns, poisoned arrows, poisoned cutlass, knives, and dangerous amulets. He said the operatives have the custody of over eight sacks of amulets and weapons seized from the bandits who used the forest as cover to strike on harmless farmers and citizens of the state. His words, we are having the success of arresting these bandits and disarming them through the support we got from the Oyo State chapter of the Hunters Association of Nigeria. The hunters know the terrain and have the spiritual power to disarm these foreign bandits. That is why we sought their collaboration. As I am talking with you, we have a seizure of about eight sacks filled with poison cutlasses, arrows, daggers, and amulets. Dangerous situations using what is capable of neutralizing such. We will not relent in flushing out these criminals minded foreigners if they cannot peacefully contribute to the development of Nigerian economy. They have the liberty to relocate back to the country or any other country that allows their recklessness to go retorted. Thank you for listening to this news. Oh, wow, tomorrow is just trending. It's just trending. What is going to happen tomorrow? What is tomorrow going to 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 do? Or what is tomorrow going to give a new bet? Hmm. Interesting. I love this. Yeah, I think this is good. So that. This um, Fulani headsman that has been terrorizing the town unnecessarily will find their way out of the state for good. They have taken enough lives. And Makindi is not saying that. It's not saying that. It's a lie. It is. He's just afraid of what the president is going to say or do. That is just his problem. And that is the problem of so many of them. So many of our governors. I don't know what they are afraid of. These people are killing your people. Don't forget, you pledged, you pledged to protect the life and properties of these people the day they elected you. You made it as a point of duty and you promise them that you will stand for them that you will support them that you will voice for them that you will defend them you said all this you made a lot of promises to them why the change of mind why why the change of mind don't forget that the president Momo Bari is facing his own administration. He's facing his own work. His is to face the national level. Why you are to face the, uh, the state level. If your state is not well protected, I challenge you. You will see Bari will come after you. He will come after you. So it is good that you do your own, own work well. Protect your state. Save your state 
from unnecessary attacks and insecurity. If you don't do that, I'm afraid your people will forever be disappointed in you. They will tell you that this wasn't what you told them that you're going to do for them. It doesn't pay, sir. It doesn't pay. Save your people from this unnecessary. Rescue your people from this unnecessary. Headsmen are not people that you can abort. They are not people you can abort. Allow them to go to their own states. They have hectares of land to do whatever agriculture they wish to do. They alone know what they have come to do. This is how they attack the Southeast, but the Southeast never gave them the space or chance. Now they have moved to the Southwest. <clears throat> I'm afraid tomorrow is going to give birth to violence. I use this medium to call on Shane Mackenday to use his good office and allow peace to reign. Because keeping quiet, I tell you, is going to cause a lot of harm to the state. Allowing this Fulanese to still remain is a very big problem. It's a very big problem. Why don't you use your good office and order their, their going out of Oyo? They are not the ones that elected you. Have you forgotten? It was the people of Oyo. When it was time for election, they traveled to their own hometown to vote for their best man. Why the people of Oyo remained in Oyo and voted for you patiently, even while under the sun. Hmm. My viewers, this is what we see. All right? Please and please and please, I call on you to please come in and air your own opinion. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.